Hello, everyone. The computer has not gone yet. And then I told God, as long as I have this computer, I'm going to keep talking. So the Holy Spirit of God was showing me today a revelation, and he was speaking to me. And he said, Donna, man is coming with the technology that I warned you of. He's coming with technology to change uh, genetics, to take out everything in the human body that causes diseases. So man's going to live longer. They're going to be able to keep you young. You're not going to grow old. You're not going to age. He said that's why Revelations 3 and verses 14, 15, 16, and 17 on the church of Laodicea. They are rich. They increase with goods and they have need of nothing. Because the Holy Spirit said in the day of the beast, when the beast is upon this earth, all those that receive his mark, he will take care of them. They will receive this technology to where they do not grow old, they do not get sick, and they do not die. Where man comes to the place to where he believes he is immortal. Instead of being what he is, he is only mortal. The Holy Spirit said that in that day of the beast, man will not have to work. Those that are under his new banking system and those that receive his mark will not have to work in the world like people do today. They will not go to jobs. They will be under his authority and under his power and under his control. The Holy Spirit said what the beast is going to try to do is offer the people the things that God offers in heaven. That he's going to offer you long life. Uh, you're not going to grow old. You're not going to get sick. You're not going to get diseased. You're not going to have to go out and work anymore because this is the new world order. All you have to do is be a part of this order and in that new one world religion and worship this beast. And he will take care of you because he's trying to create heaven upon the earth. That's what he's trying to do. And the Holy Spirit said, that's why you see the church of Laodicea has nothing. Now listen to this revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. Because it is a good stuff, church. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit was a flowing today. He said, Donna, look at this. Does it not say in Revelations 3 and 14, 15, 16, and 17, does it not say that they were miserable, they were poor, they were blind and naked. But they didn't know that. You see, because the beast had deceived them to thinking that they were rich. They were increasing with goods. They had needed nothing because under his power and under his authority, they were living longer. They didn't get sick. They didn't grow old. They had everything they had need of. And the Holy Spirit said, but they didn't know they were naked. And uh, the Holy Spirit said, let's go to the book of Genesis, Donna. In Genesis 2 and 25, were not Adam and his wife naked? He said, Adam did not fulfill a day, so he did not enter into the year that God would give him that new body, that new body that was waiting for him that did not die. Adam did not make it to that day because he fell in the day. He said, so you see in Genesis 3 and 7 that Adam was naked. He said, did not God say that the church of Laodicea was naked? He said, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 1 and 2 says that we have a tabernacle. Now listen, church, if this body, our body that we have right now, this tabernacle were dissolved, then we have a building of God, a house made without hands. God made this body that's waiting on us in heaven. It's eternal in the heavens. Listen, church, it does not die. It does not die at all. It, now listen to me, church. What does verse 2 say? That, we'll, that we're going to be clothed with this house from heaven. If that, so we be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Boom! There's that revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. I tell you, church, it don't get no better than this. I tell you what I was just telling that Holy Spirit today. Thank you for that amazing revelation. Church, Adam did not make it to that next day. He fell in a day. He did not receive that new body that was waiting for him in heaven. He was naked because he was mortal. The church of Laodicea. Woo! -ho, glory! Hallelujah! Here we go, church. The Holy Spirit of God was speaking today, and he said the church of Laodicea thinks they have need of nothing through technology. But I tell you, they are naked. 
because they are mortal. I don't care how much technology comes. It's going to cause you to grow, not to grow old. It's going to cause you to live longer. You're not going to get sick. I don't care about that church because they're go they are naked. That's what the word says. They're naked because they're immortal. They're mortal. They do not have that immortal body yet. Only God. Do you hear me, church? Only God can give us the immortal body. That's right, church. But the beast is going to come and deceive these people that they don't need God. You can live right here on this earth. I can keep you young. I can cause you to live a long time. Look, church, we even seen in the Garden of Eden, God caused Adam to live a long time too, didn't he? Adam lived a long time in that garden. We know he didn't fulfill a thousand years, but he lived a long time in that garden. But he was still naked. He was still a mortal being. He had not fulfilled a day to enter into the seventh day to receive that new body, the mortal body. Now listen to this, church. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 54. But let me go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 4. I, I, I get excited when I get to preach this revelation knowledge because it's amazing. It says that we, we that are in this tabernacle, this body right here, church, groan, being burdened, for that we would be unclothed. See, we don't want to be naked. But clothe upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Woo, glory. It don't get no better than that, church. It don't get no better than that. Did you hear this word? 1 Corinthians 15 and 54 says that we'll put off this mortal body and we'll put on immortality. Adam was mortal. That's why he was naked. The church of Laodicea is still naked. Even though Revelation chapter 9 and verse 6 says, Men will seek death and shall not find it, and death shall flee from them. I don't care about no technology that's going to cause you to live a long time. It cannot give you immortal life. You are still naked. Naked. You are still a mortal being. You can still fall upon a sword and be killed. But the Holy Spirit was speaking to me, and he said, But Donna, is that not why people come to God? It's for the benefits that God offers them. I said, My Lord, the beast only offers life, long life. He does not offer everlasting life. Everlasting life is in the hands of our God. And I told the Holy Spirit of God, I don't care what that beast offers. I still want to be where my Jesus is. I still want to be where my God is. And the Holy Spirit of God was speaking to me, and he said, Donna, in that day, men will run to this being. They will love him. They will bow before him, and they'll kill for him. All those that refuse this mark and refuse to bow down to this beast his servants will kill them. They will be killed. He will cause the whole world to receive his mark and his name. And he is offering them long life. No more death. No more sickness. No more growing old. He said, you saw the church of Laodicea. It had need of nothing. But yet God says to the church of Laodicea, you're poor, you're blind, and you're naked. Church, I don't care how many times that devil tries to make things look good and it's a good idea and it's a good plan. He never can offer what God offers. Our Father offers us everlasting life. And that life, my friends, is in Jesus. Amen, church. Amen. And, the, and I told the Holy Spirit, I said, man's not going to have to work. He said, no, because Donna the Beast is coming down to, be, to deceive the world and that he is God. He said, remember, when God dwells upon the earth, people will not work 
They will not go to jobs. There will be no need of money. Uh, there won't, life will change. The life that you know will change. And that's what the beast will do also when he comes to this earth. He said that's why he's causing the one world order, a new banking system. There will be no more going out and working a job. All those that are under his rule and under his power and under his authority will have what he offers. And those that refuse will be killed. And the Holy Spirit said that he can give them long life through technology. The Holy Spirit said, I've been warning you, Donna. I've been warning you for years about this new technology that is coming. They're going to go through the bloodstreams, and they're going to create a superior human like nothing we've ever seen before, church. They're going to go through the bloodstream, and they're going to target these cells that cause cancers, even uh, cells that cripple children. And, oh, and I nearly forgot this part. Woo, I nearly forgot. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit told me, I said, well, what if uh, in those days uh, something happens to your heart or to uh, your liver or your kidneys? And the Holy Spirit said, the technology that's coming will be able to clone body parts. Whatever body parts you have need of, it can be cloned. He said, but the technology will grow beyond that to where? Listen to this, church. Listen to this. The Holy Spirit said, the technology that's coming they're going to be able to cause you to grow. Woo! To grow. Naturally. Parts that you had cut off. Not cloning it. Growing it. You're going to grow it back through this technology. Church, I've seen some stuff. I have seen some technology like nothing I've ever seen before for through the Holy Spirit of God. And it's amazing. And the Holy Spirit said that technology is coming. Preparing the way for the beast, the deceiver that's coming. God bless you, church. God bless you. Like I said, as long as this computer is still sitting over here in this old girl's house, I'm going to keep preaching till the last minute, till she comes and gets this computer. That's right. I thought she was coming this morning, but praise God, she ain't here yet. God bless you, church. God bless you.